His name is Uli, and he has a single consuming passion, old Italian scooters. And since Uli is unable to resist the seduction of curvaceous metal, he has, in the course of 15 years, collected no less than 35 Italian lovelies. Now so many beauties demand considerable living space. An old villa in the middle of a forest is where they hide. This is the place for my old Lambrettos. At home there wasn't nearly enough room, and so I annexed the old house in order to have more room for all the scooters. Let's have a look at some. I'll show you my favorites, the Lambrettos. The model 200DL, that's quite a rare one. It was built by Innocenti in Milan from 1968 to 1971. In 1971 the concern went bankrupt and in the end only four to six thousand were made. I have four of them. Some of the others are interesting. Primavera, the first model series. Vespa Novanta, not often found in this condition. Then I have my spare parts collection. I have enough storage space and maybe I'll need this or that sometime. A classic, built by a friend of mine in the 80s and given airbrush treatment. It's a machine that you notice. It awakens old memories. Fun to look at, too. Fortunately, Uli's fascination is not his alone. He meets up with like-minded friends at weekends to worship curvaceous metal together with them. All scooteristi are welcome here, fans of all marks, and the age of what they call in this circle dozen is unimportant. The main thing is that they are all in working order and fun to ride. The lovers of two-stroke mobility venture much further afield than the little village where they usually gather. They ride their oldies across half Europe, day and night, at 80 kilometers an hour, on their way to various events and meets in Italy, Holland, or even England. In Uli's garage, there are other rarities to be discovered. Many of them he finds in Austria or Italy. Some are today valued at up to 6,000 euros. The scooter virus is in Uli's family rampant. At the age of 15, I saved up all my pocket money and bought my first moped from my brother. Since my brothers all had mopeds, it stood to reason that the third brother should also have one. Family tradition. My love of scooters remains to this day and will probably continue until the day I retire, simply because scooters are cult. But Uli is not content merely to collect scooters. In fact, he enjoys pushing them to the performance limit. Trophies are evidence that he has enjoyed successes over the years. The kick you get racing scooters is naturally the consequence of the tiny wheels. With a motorbike with a modern suspension, there's a totally different behavior in the curves. A scooter will skid a bit through the corners, a bit unstable, and you have to handle it with care. But it's fun to push the scooter into the bend. Will the tires take it? Can the suspension handle it? There are plenty of things which can go wrong. There is an element of risk. But no risks are taken when Uli hits the highway with his comrades. On the road, it's not about racing, just comfortable cruising. After all, they want to be seen. The scooter cult has a relatively low price of entry. For a Vespa 125 or 200 in decent condition, little more than a thousand euros need to be invested. And spare parts and accessories are widely available. A good thing, because with scooters, there's always something that needs repairing. Even lovely Italians need a facelift from time to time. Then she's ready again for another journey across Europe, ready to be admired in all her glory. And Uli can't wait. <laughs> <laughs>